but we have made it to day 10 in 30 days of prayer for your children, for our children. I, I correct myself. Today, we are going to be talking about um, how we want our children to be empowered by the Holy Spirit. So um, Acts 4.31 has new meaning. I'll tell you about it in just a few minutes um, for me. But Acts 4.31 says, And when they had prayed, the place where they had gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God with boldness. What an amazing picture of the power of God. Literally, the place was shaken. So on November 30th, 2018, um, Anchorage, Alaska was literally shaken by a magnitude 7.0 earthquake. And my kids and I, two of my kids and I were at home and we endured this violent shaking for, I don't know, a minute and a half or something, which seemed like way, way, way longer. And I was thinking, actually, other than, you know, my daughter asked, um, are we going to die? <laughs> and we began to pray. But um, aside from, from those thoughts, I guess after the fact, maybe not in the moment, but it made me start thinking about this passage in Acts where the ground was shaken because of the power of the Holy Spirit through their prayers was unleashed and the ground was shaken. And I just kind of now have a better picture of the violence and the power that, that they must have experienced. And it just makes me feel small. And that's the kind of feeling that we feel as humans. We feel small in, in light of that, that amazing, violent, terrible power that God has and that can be unleashed from the Holy Spirit. But when we, as these earthen vessels, receive the power of the Holy Spirit, the next part of that is they began to speak the word of God with boldness. They weren't afraid of that, that power. I was afraid during the earthquake. My daughter thought we were going to die. She was afraid. They weren't afraid, though. That power that caused that, that ground-shaking power of their prayers, that was power that was absorbed by them. It was the Holy Spirit. Um, indwelling them and empowering them with that ground shaking power to preach the word of God with boldness. And that is what I want. I want that kind of violent earth shaking power to indwell my children so that they can walk fearless. They can walk just living with abandon for the, for God and, and that all the other stuff would look so small next to the power that they're experiencing in their own lives through the Holy Spirit. So as we close this first 10 days of prayer where we're praying for our children in relationship to God, this is kind of what these last 10 days have been all about, praying for our children in relationship to God. And as we close that out, let's just pray that our kids would be empowered by the Holy Spirit. They wouldn't just learn about him. They wouldn't just love him. They'd be indwelt and empowered by him in a way that we just can't even imagine the things that they're going to accomplish when that happens. So let's pray. Father God, we just are in awe of your earth-shaking power. Father, we just confess that we just lose sight of that. We think of you as a cosmic Santa or a... Uh, man in a white robe with a long beard that, you know, we can pray to. Oh, Father, you're so much more than that. Help us to feel small in our humanness, but help us to embrace your awesome power that can be unleashed in us. God, I just pray that our kids could see that too, that, that they would know that nothing they do is from their own power that nothing of substance can be accomplished in their flesh, but that everything can be accomplished through you and through the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you so much that there is nothing that you have called us to that you have not also equipped us for. God, you are sufficient. And your power is made perfect in weakness, God. 
your power somehow, even, even in our weaknesses. As Paul said, he delights in his weaknesses so that the power of Christ can rest in him. So God, we just, we hold our children up to you now. We acknowledge that they have weaknesses. We confess that we probably despise some of those weaknesses that we see in them, mostly because we see them in ourselves and we're afraid that we've been contributors to that weakness. But God, we acknowledge that our children were formed and made by you, that there are no mistakes. And we just pray that who they are, body, mind, and spirit created by you would be used, that your power would be made perfect in their weakness, that your earth-shaking Holy Spirit power would be unleashed in them, God, to accomplish incredible things for your kingdom. God, we pray that we wouldn't be afraid of that. I just pray that we could hold them out to you with abandon and just watch in awe as you launch them forward in life. God, let them think big, never ever shrinking from what you have called them to do or say. I'm like Peter and John, that others would see their works and hear their words and know that they have been with you and give glory to you and you alone. God, we pray your protection from fear, for you have not given us, you have not given our children a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind, as you say in 2 Timothy 1.7. Let them walk it out, God, with confidence and boldness as they carry out your will in every facet of their lives. We pray that you would protect them from pride, that they would always remember the one from whom their help comes, and never forget that your power is made manifest most awesomely through weak vessels, that your power is made perfect in their weakness. In Jesus' powerful name we pray, amen.